So this is part three of supplement replacements, and today we're going to talk about zinc. Zinc is very helpful in the process of creating steroid hormones. The important ones for most people being progesterone, testosterone, and estrogen. And the main sources of zinc are going to be oysters and red meat. There's high zinc in the muscle meat, but there's also a very high amount in the organ meat. Additionally, certain seeds seem to have a high amount of zinc. These include pumpkin seeds and sesame seeds. With that being said, there's one thing that we need to watch out for when we're intaking zinc. And these are specific compounds found in plants called phytates. Phytates are not all that bad. However, they will bind to certain nutrients inside of our intestinal tract, specifically zinc, and make us unable to absorb it. So there are two options here. The first is to ingest any sort of zinc source in isolation or an absence of vegetables, nuts, seeds, and legumes. So something like a fruit could be our carbohydrate source for this meal. Or we could just do a lower carbohydrate meal and try something fancy like eggs and oysters for breakfast. The other possibility is to consume a digestive enzyme that contains phytase. And phytase is the enzyme that actually breaks down a phytate, which stops it from binding to micronutrients inside of our intestinal tract. With that being said, if you want to learn more about how to get and absorb all of your micronutrients to both look good and feel good, then send me a DM or comment below and we'll set up a consultation.